Okay, today we're going to add up some uh, vectors. What you need is you need to start with your vector equation. You need to have a scale, so my scale is one centimeter equals one meter per second, which means whatever I measure on the ruler in centimeters is going to represent a meter per second. I also have my bearing. So we're going to get started. We choose a point on our paper and draw a small bearing. And now what I want to do is draw six meters per second east 30 north. Over here, east 30 north is right there, so I mark that off. And take your ruler, and 6 meters per second is going to be 6 centimeters, but with the scale I'm using for demonstration purposes, it's going to be this big. So go here, and there we go. I mark it off, and you have to properly label it. There we go. So we've done our first vector. Now we're over here. We draw lightly up another bearing, hopefully straight. And what I have to draw now is 8 meters per second, south 20 west. So we go here, south 20 west, I mark it off. And to my scale, I've got to draw 8 meters per second. meters per second, and you have to label it, you get 8.0 meters per second, south 20 west. So there we go. Now we've got the second vector on. i got to put a little bearing here to get ready for the next one. And my next one's 5 meters per second, west 40 north. So i got to find west 40 north, I put my protractor here, and I mark off 10, 20, 30, 40. Get my ruler, and on my scale, I check that out, it's going to be this long. So I put it there. And quickly label it. There we go. Now I've added up all my vectors. One, two, three, they're in a continuous path. And now I draw from the start to the finish. So I go over here. I join the start to the finish. And 6 meters per second plus 8 meters per second plus 5 meters per second with those angles is equal to this. This is my resultant here. So now what I have to do is measure it and use my scale to figure out how big it is. So I go over here, I measure it, and it's 1.8. My resultant is 1.8 meters per second. And I use my protractor, and you measure the angle from the start of the vector, not the end of the vector, so I put it at my beginning. And it is 10, 20, 30, 40, so this is south, 40 west. And so I label it on here, 1.8 meters per second, south, 40 west. There we go. You check your vectors. Are they continuous paths? Start to finish, start to finish. When you add up these three vectors, this is the answer here. 